ΕΚΕΙΕ, σκυπτούχε, κούρε δημάτορ, βοτριόκος με οδηγέ των κομών, ελθέ. What are we... What's wrong? My workers are sick. At this rate, I won't be able to feed my own family, never mind theirs. The good news is, this isn't the work of the gods, but a sickness of the body, the throat in particular. I could treat the workers, if I had my medical supplies. Mistios, would you get them for me? If you'll pay my fee, the health of your workers depends on it. I'd have hoped the well-being of these people would be payment enough. Yes, yes, of course I'll reward you. Will you do it? I'll find your supplies. Excellent. My tools are in Ancient Pearl, and the drugs are in Lover's Bay. Ancient Pearl is pretty big. Where exactly did you leave your tools? In the clinic at Vrisa Fort. Where exactly in Lover's Bay should I look? At the leader house in Midilini, northeast of the temple. I'll come back with your supplies. The faster you do, the sooner I can help the workers. I'll go get the tools and drugs. Vineyards. Even Marcos couldn't make shitty wine with these grapes. Beasts, the teeth, too many teeth. You saved me and my work too, a cure for the statues in the petrified valley. Why would stone need to be cured? Surely you've seen their faces frozen in terror. They're not mere objects, but humans trapped in stone. You're saying they're sick? I'm not sure why it's happening. I'm merely a scholar looking for a cure. An elixir that will not only heal, but prevent this horrible affliction once and for all. Something's turning people into stone, and you can make them flesh and blood again? Impressive. Yes. Well, not exactly. Not yet. It will be perfected through more trials. But I only have one dose of elixir left. In order to make more, I would require a few ingredients. But I'm in no condition to gather them. What do you need? Just a few items found all over Vineyard Canyon. If you can get them for me, I'll reward you with a dose of my elixir. I'll gather what you need. Excellent. Now listen closely to these ingredients. I require a cluster of bear dung mushrooms, some cone snail bile, and a bouquet of hellebore. How did these statues come to be? I don't rightly know. A curse of the gods, the writhing dread. If you wish to see for yourself, you shouldn't do it without my elixir. What is a hellebore? Hellebore is a flowering plant you can find growing atop the highest mountain in Vineyard Canyon. Where can I find these mushrooms? They grow on fresh bear dung. There's a cave in the mountains south of the road to Mitilini where you can usually find them. 
Where can I find cone snails? Cone snails are drawn to the warm currents of the eastern shoreline. My favorite spot is by Sark Bay. Make sure the bile is fresh. I'll go collect your ingredients. Come to my workshop on the hill east of Mitilini when you have everything. A cave, a mountain, and the shoreline. Could these items be in three more different places? Come on! No, put it down! 
mountain. The Halibor should be here somewhere. This looks bad. What are you doing? Oh. 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 
This is the right area. The cave with the mushroom should be close.
Περίπολε και τελετάρχη. The leader house. These are not petrified statues. There are dead bodies inside. You're back. Do you have the ingredients? I do. Very good. Now I'll be able to make a new store of elixir. But first, I need to make sure it's safe for human consumption. The vial on the table is my last dose. I saved it especially for you. Ah. Uh... I'm not drinking anything with bare dung mushroom in it. Don't be silly. Drink it and you'll be impervious to petrifaction. I... I'm not sure about this. What? You believe my elixir works, don't you? If it does what you say it does, I'd be a fool not to drink it. Yes, drink it all down. I noticed something while testing the elixir on my life subjects. We all turn to stone when we're dead. They're not statues! They're my children! need to stay hidden. Oh, okay. 
I'm of course, another cultist. She said the medical tools are in Vrisa Fort.
I should watch my step around here.
I should be extra careful in this area. Let's run together. That must be Vrisa Fort. I should try to stay out of sight.
Physician's tools. I have what the physician asked for. I should take it back to the vineyard.
doing recon on the Athenians, I take it. Anything a mercenary can help with, spy? What's the difference between a dog and an Athenian? I don't know. If you kill his master, the dog will bite you. But these Athenians will run like cowards without their leaders. Let's put another dent in their upper ranks. You want me to kill the Athenian commander? The glory is all yours if you accept. Do you? Sounds like you can stop worrying. I've taken care of everything. You've served Sparta well. This is for you. Doesn't look like this life is offering you much. But another awaits aboard my ship. Sail with me. We need someone like you. I appreciate the offer, but the intelligence Sparta needs is here. Too bad. You would have loved life on the sea. I found your supplies. Thank you. These are specialized items. I couldn't have replaced them in time. Oh, my grapes are saved! I get the feeling that's all you've cared about from the start. Without grapes, there is no work. By healing the workers, you've saved my farm. Take this. The workers will make a full recovery. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. What's that? What did I see?
What happened to these trees? I shouldn't be here. Silence, Snake. What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice. They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue. This walking curse is in league with the writhing dread. She just looks scared to me. Please, the creature took Ligia. If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? 
She will lead you to the petrified temple and your doom. What exactly is this creature? Evil, heartless, unknowable. We must end this girl before she leads a writhing thread right to us. The forest, where the creature lives, where is it? Beyond the petrified temple, north of here. A damned place, haunted by sand and filled with cursed stone. At its center lie ancient ruins from which few return. You mentioned Aliyah. She is... Beyond beauty, beyond grace, a daughter of Artemis. Brave, not like me. What dark prize did the writhing dread offer for her she soul? She lives, Mistios. I know it. If this writhing dread has let Leia live, we'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mistios. Citizens, we must save our city, and these interlopers must plead. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. Mistios, I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more, even if it kills me. Be smart, be cautious, and with my help, you will look into your lover's eyes again. It doesn't need to cost your life. You know, I don't want to call you, you, forever. My name's Bris. Alexios. Ligia's waiting for me, Alexios. I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the dread ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city. It's been too long. What's going on? I don't know what to do. My friend Halanos was bringing me back a shipment of rare art, but he hasn't arrived. I fear the worst. If you value your friend more than your dark me, maybe you'd pay for his retrieval? Of course I value Harlanos more than Drachmi. I take it wealth is all you value, Mistios. Depends where his ship was coming from. It's that sail from Makatonia. If you help find my friend, 
You can keep whatever art he was bringing back. I can't promise anything. The sea is vast and hungry. I'll need some information to get started. You said Galarnos was sailing from Macedonia. Is there anywhere else he might dock? Nowhere. The recent storms must have caught him. If they were close enough to the island, they might have been forced into a bay. I'd check the coast. This rare art you mentioned sounds valuable. Halanos is an art dealer. I sent him to Makathonia to make a purchase on my behalf. Not knowing what he's going to bring back is half the fun. Hopefully the sea will reveal more than you've given me to go on. I thank you for doing this, Mistios. Uh, I see you have good taste. Anything else? I better check Stormfall I Bay. You're here. Your face looks more sour than this fishy stink. Why shouldn't I be sour, huh? My no good son sailed off with my boat and should have been back hours ago. Probably showing off for that Mitilini girl. The smell. Of course, your son ran away. Doubt he'll come back. Choke on goat dung. I can leave. Mm. Well, second thought. Would you fetch my lazy son? He's at Fisherman's Bay. An easy errand for fair pay. I'll do it. Good. You find him, and I'll turn his hide. And where exactly is this bay? Fisherman's Bay is northeast of here and runs through the middle of our island. You can't miss it. Tell me more about the girl. I don't know. Some Mitilini, lovely. Full of history and poetry from that school over there. She keeps my boy's head in the clouds instead of focused on his work. Let's quit chatting so I can go find your son. See that you do. I'll pay you, and then my boy's hide will pay for taking my boat out. Time to search Fisherman's Bay.
There's Fisherman's Bay. There's the fishing boat. But where's the fisherman's son? There's blood in the water. It's the fisherman's son. The fisherman's son. Looks like he got tangled up in the net, trying to haul a heavy load of fish. Slipped. Then the weight of the net dragged him down. Any word on my son? Your son is dead. Drowned in his fishing net. No. My boy. My poor boy. I pushed him too hard. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight.
You are truly a hero. You have offered me freedom. Thank you for your kindness.
That must be Stormfall Bay. This man didn't drown. He was stabbed to death here on shore. A bloody trail. Someone was dragged towards the cliffs. Some of the wood and parts have been looted. This looks like the place. Looks like the followers of Ares. Survivor.
have free at last. Please, accept this Drachmi as thanks. I tried to trade it for my freedom, but those crazy Malakas only wanted my blood. Dios. Ah. This place is ours, Ligia's and mine. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. is afraid of what the fog veils. It's getting hard to breathe. Even the air is dead. These statues are unnervingly lifelike, and their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things, transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. If we hear... If she's... if she's stone, how will we bury her? She'll never meet Haron. Ligia! Ligia! Breach, wait! Malaka! Better go after her. Alex, 
Lipsius, she's alive! We need to get inside, but I see no openings, and the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath, her smell. Every night we'd meet at the Dread Ruins. I was late, just once. I wanted to find her a rose. Something as perfect as she is. This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time... Then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? You were searching for a rose. A gift. Never regret an act of kindness, please. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Chios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible. But many believe him. He might know something. This mercenary, the slayer of the writhing dread, where can I find him? He waits in a temple atop the hill in Ancient Pearl. Champions from all over seek to challenge him to build their reputations, but there's no way he killed the creature. If he did, how was Ligia taken? Did you see the creature yourself? No, but only the writhing dread would be strong enough to take Ligia. She's too fierce. And too stubborn. I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Alexios, hurry. The region of the ancient pearl. There's the temple on the hill. I'll... Excuse me? We're born into darkness and rise up to the greatest peaks before descending into darkness once more. A warrior and a sophist. This is a first. It is not philosophy. It's truth. Learned through violence, fate, and seeing evil. True evil. You're talking about the writhing dread. The creature. When it ambushed us outside, we thought only of survival. My spear allowed me to stay out of its gaze. I was lucky. My friends weren't. Tell me how you were able to defeat the creature. It all happened so fast. We had a plan to break into the temple and corner it. But it ambushed us before we got inside. There was no time for strategy after that. Why go after the creature in the first place? We were hired to steal an ancient item from within its lair by masked soldiers. Tell me about the item they wanted you to steal. Truth is, I don't even think they knew exactly what it is. After I killed the creature, I went to search the lair, but it was sealed. Give me that spear. We are warriors. To let it go without a fight would be to dishonor my fallen friends. Uh, 
special about this spear. The mercenary knew nothing. He never made it inside the lair. Then it was a waste of time. Ligia waits and we've done nothing to help her. Not exactly. The mercenary carried this spear, which she claims killed the Riding Dread. No, no, the creature took Ligia. It can't be dead. It waits in its lair even now. Then there may be a piece of this puzzle we don't yet understand. Have you found a way inside the lair? Ligia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... disc... key... this... <sighs> I have what opens the lair. And you didn't hurt any of the daughters when you took it? They didn't hear me or my blades, but they felt them breeze. Why? Why would you? This disc is a prized possession. If I hadn't killed them, I never would have made it out alive. And Ligia would be lost. I... I suppose you did what you had to. Ligia is worth any price. Please, wait! Ligia! What your praise? Angry snakes, a bad omen.
Only one myth speaks of turning victims to stone. I killed you, my love. <sighs>
picked up the artifact and transformed into that creature. I wonder how many people have become the writhing dread over the centuries. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. Κινείται μεταξύ τριών The blood of the enemy will show our leaders that my strategy is the right one. These seals should help convince them. You've done well. Our troops are on the move. They underestimate Spartans. They consider me much lower than a Spartan. Time to strike again. Athenian command will be slow to retaliate. Ready to kill more of their fort commanders? I'll kill the commanders and clear the way for your troops. Only fools want war. And so far it seems both sides are made of fools. Good news, General. 
Athenian commanders have been dismissed for negligence because of my tactics. Better unemployed than dead. You're proving a solid ally. There's no time to lose. We need to control the enemy forts. Let me ask you something first. Waste of time. You don't think much of Spartan leadership. When I rise, they'll bow. Chiare. Why are you still here? Go kill the enemy command! Consider it done. Silence is preferable. have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alethea won control of this place. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to sea. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone.
But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, Eagle Bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alethea says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Hurry. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The precursor should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No, no, lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Any questions for me? You should have come along. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. 
will stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Fiction! When I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. If the staff is the key to this place, I don't want to get locked in. I can't hand it over yet. There is still so much to see. That wasn't the plan. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place. And I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open. And you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. Duh! We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly. But I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Alexios, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then, open sesame. So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. Yeah. <laughs> 
Layla, that pillar looks like it can move. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. If you manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important. Where is it? What? True knowledge exists. A good friend told me that once. It's possible. Alexios. Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer. But Icaros is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Erothotos could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order, chaos. If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have traveled from one end of the earth to the other. This belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. 
When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Alexios again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevers. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had a staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all of the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. Learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. For all we know, anything's possible. And you would know, as the eagle bearing demigod you are. <laughs> Perhaps he, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. Herodotus. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd be able to see them again. To show them my life's work. But now, I'm sorry to ask this of you. But could you take me to Samos? 
I need to pay my respects. Of course, my friend. Thank you. I'm not sure I could make this trip alone. For departure!
fought a good fight. Not for the last time, I'm sure. This is it. How does it feel being back? It feels like... Uh, words escape me. That's a first. To my eyes, it's home. The smells and sounds are familiar, but it's been so long. I don't know if I can do this. You've done more difficult things. Challenges we overcome always seem easier when they're behind us. What would you do? Hold my head high, walk with purpose, push those feelings of doubt aside. You're right. I suppose we should head to my family home first. Lead the way. So quiet here. Nothing like the rest of the Greek world. Living near the docks was so exciting as a child. How so? There was always a new ship to see, new people to watch, from the sailors, often a new word to learn. <laughs> Most of which got me in trouble. I'm sure your mother remembered those days fondly. I know I do. So many faces I don't recognize. You've been gone a long time. Even so. I was hoping there'd be someone I know. Someone who'd remind me of my life before I left. We've only just arrived. It'll be okay. Here we are. This is where I called home for most of my childhood. Most? I came to Samos at a young age, but I was born in Aligarnassos. Those are days I'd rather not remember. Hmm. It doesn't look like it's changed much in my absence. This pottery looks special. My father always felt art was a great outlet when things seemed overwhelming. One of your toys? It was my brother's. I often hid it when he wouldn't let me play with it. A tablet. Looks like some old writing. The ships never stay for long. Samos is a place people come for a visit, but not to live. Is there something about this place I don't yet see? One of my first writings. I was always restless here. Always wanting to learn more about the world beyond, and the world that was.
Χειρόδοτος! Μίστορ! Praise the gods! It's been far too long! It has indeed. You're looking well. As are you, Theodorus. I... I should go. I'm glad you're back. Why doesn't everyone just take a deep breath? How could you say I didn't come back when I'm here, right now? We came as soon as the letter arrived. And... I'm a... He's a friend. Oh, how nice. I couldn't stay here. I needed to leave. You could! At least tell me where they died. We must... He's just surprised to see you. His eyes showed hatred. He probably missed you. You'll see. It's a bit late for that. I know this wasn't the welcome you were expecting. But perhaps it was the one I deserved. For now, I only want to see where they died. I owe that to them. I'll come with you. I'd like that. If you're ready, we should go. Waiting to face reality will do me no good. I used to know this island as well as my own home. Seems like a nice place to grow up. It was. I spent a lot of time on my own, or with Theodorus and Nisto. My parents are... were influential. So they were often busy. But it wasn't the life for you. where my parents last stood. Where fate decided to take them from us. I thought I'd write about their history on Samos and all they did one day. But not this soon. I should have been here. Should never have left. There is nothing you could have done. But if I had tried, maybe... Maybe you would have died alongside them. And that would have helped nobody. Perhaps you're right. I want you to remember that while we're on Samos. I'll try. I just wish I could have seen them once more. What did your parents think of your writing? They always encouraged it. It helped that Theodoros was talented as well, although he always felt more drawn to poetry. If it weren't for their support, there's a good chance I would have never pursued it. 
Did your parents like it on Samos? It was more than just a home to them. I saw how happy this place made them, and only wanted to feel the same somewhere as well. Do you have a favorite memory of them? I remember when my father taught me to swim. He tossed me off the side of the dock. I thought I was going to drown, but then I saw what I thought was a shark. I flailed my arms and kicked my legs until I made it to shore, only to see it was Theodorus with a bit of rock above his head. <laughs> I still remember the sound of my father's laugh and the warmth of my mother's embrace. If there's anything you'd like to say about your parents, you should. I always feel more comfortable writing than I do speaking. I'm not going to judge. And I know they wouldn't either. They meant everything to me. They always encouraged me. I knew they'd be happy for me no matter what. I'm sorry I didn't come back sooner. There was so much I wanted to tell you, to show you. Mother, you were one of the strongest people I knew. You pushed for truth, no matter the obstacle. Father, your compassion is something I won't soon forget. You taught me it was okay to feel for myself and for others. Your names and deeds won't be forgotten. We should head back. if Theodorus or Nistor know anything. Why do I have a feeling they don't belong here? I have never heard of them being on Samos. Something is going on. Maybe Theodorus will know. Stay close. Followers of Ares here. I don't understand. The question is whether they came on their own or someone sent them. Neither outcome is favorable for us, nor Samos. We can't wait I wonder what my parents understand. Do. Exactly what we're going we to do. We want the same thing. Protect Samus. This war has caused... Ah, you're back. I hoped you'd set sail already. Now isn't the time. We were just attacked. Gods curse these warring Greeks. Was it the Athenians or the Spartans this time? Neither. It was a group called the Followers of Ares. Whoever it was, thank the gods you're okay. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Strange ships docking, uh, groups of people you haven't seen before. No, things have been normal. It's been a welcome change. Have either of you heard of the followers of Ares? Only in name. Who are they? They only care for one thing. War. And you believe they're here, on Samos? They're the ones who attacked us. Something is happening here on Samos. We need answers. He's right. If the followers of Ares are here, there's a reason for it. Then it's another reason for you to go. We'll handle whatever is happening here. 
This is my home too. I'm not leaving until I get to the bottom of this. If it's not safe, you shouldn't stay. He's plenty safe with me. Of course. Come, mister. If this fool won't heed our warnings, it's not our concern. They weren't much help. Something doesn't add up. How could Theodorus and Mister both know nothing? I think they were keeping something from us. But why? That's what we need to find out. What's next? If they're somewhere on this island, they'd stay away from the city. There was a cave I used to play in as a child. It may be worth looking into. Let's start there. Such lethal power! Best stay out of sight.
I'll follow you in after you've finished. Killing everyone inside. Yes, that. This area will be well defended. So this is where they've been hiding. You were right to suggest we look here, but they've been dealt with. We still need to find out what they were doing here in the first place. Let's look around. There is a list of names here. I recognize these names. They're all quite influential on Samos, but Missos is missing. These coins aren't like any I've seen before. I have. They're Persian. <sighs> Athenian and Spartan uniforms. They could have the people of Samos believe they were attacking from either side. I didn't take the followers of Ares to be lovers of poetry. They're not. This work, it's awfully close to the style that Theodorus uses. Why would his writings be his? I didn't take them for the heirloom type. How did they? That's our family's sigil. They must have stolen it. There's no way they could have found that on their own. It was given to them. I'm afraid to even say what I think is going on here. This island and these people are yours. Tell me what you're thinking. Persia wants to take control of Samos. It'd be a good staging ground for something greater. You're right. I only wish that was all there is to worry about. What is it? If Persia is involved, they couldn't have done this alone. They would have needed someone here to help them. Someone with ties to the Empire. And influence on Samos. Yes, other than myself, there are only two others who could be responsible for what's going to happen and for what already has. <sighs> Herodotus. With everything we've found, everything you've seen and heard, please, just tell me which of them it is. Theodorus. He's working for the Persians and brought the followers of Ares here. I was afraid you'd say that, but I know you must be right. What do you want to do now? I need to talk to Theodorus. I don't understand why he'd do this. Dragmi can be a powerful motivator, as can the promise of power. But he already had both of them. No. I know you want to understand it all, but I we don't always get the answers free. we seek. Help me! 
Thank you. I'm forever grateful for your kindness, friend. It's as if you've forgotten that you no longer live here, Herodotus. We know what you did. We found the cave where the followers of Ares were hiding. Why are you working for the Persians? The people of Samos don't deserve to be subjected to the same things we were. Or do you not remember why we left in the first place? How dare you? Everything I've done has been for the good of Samos. I wish to free Samos from this war. But for you to accuse me of handing it to the Persians... Did you order them to kill our parents? Or was it a mistake on their part? I... You should have never come back here! Theodoros! I know you care deeply for your brother, but this isn't finished. We tasked ourselves with protecting Samos, and it's not yet safe. We need to go after him. Where to? To find Mistor, and Theodorus too. There's no way Theodorus could have ordered these troops to attack us. No! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I should try to stay out of sight. What are you? You should be safe now. Where's Mistor? After he ordered me locked up, he left. Seemed impatient. Uh, Theodorus. Not another word from you. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Once you've dealt with Mistor, you need to leave for good. Samos won't need you any longer. Neither will I. You know what needs to be done now, right? Unfortunately, I do. You can stay behind if you want. I can do it myself. No. I need to see him. I need to know why he did this. Ah! 
move a muscle. This will be easy. Okay, okay, you got me. How could you do this? After everything our family did for you. They took you in, and you had them killed. That was an unfortunate accident. I promise you, I weep for their deaths every day. I can't trust anything you say. You betrayed Samos, your family. Your... Not everything is black and white. Sometimes, people need others to make the best decision for them. And they're giving me Samos to rule. Tell me what the Persians are planning. Samos would make a good stronghold. Don't you think? Why trick Theodoros into helping you? Allies are hard to come by, and Theodoros was more than willing. It doesn't matter now. The followers of Ares working for you are dead. Everyone will know what you did here. I'll make sure of it. Oh, I hope you do. I've always wanted my name to be remembered. However, you may not want to start writing just yet. What do you mean? The ships are already on their way. Let him go. We need to stop the ships. I'll meet you there.
until the commander's return. Samos is safe. What about Mistor? After his failure, he won't get a second chance. Plus, there's no way he'd stay on Samos now. About Theodoros. It was my fault you accused him. But only because I didn't trust myself enough to do so. But you trusted me. My trust in you was sound. It was still my choice to accuse him, not yours. Thank you for everything, Alexios. Without you, I couldn't have gotten through this. I sometimes feel like we've spent as much time at sea as on land. You may be right. We've traveled a lot together. I think it may be time I set off on my own. I knew it would happen one day, but I wish it didn't have to. I know. We've been through far more than most people will ever experience in their lives. But even so, it will be a weird feeling. It will take some getting used to. Well, where should I take you? The docks near Athens should do. There are some others I'd like to say goodbye to as well. I'm sure they'll be sorry to see you go. To Athens. Yourself for boarding. Last battle. On my 
Yes, was right. The artist has captured Poseidon in all his magnificence.
Poseidon watches over his ocean. While he's distracted, let's see what's in his temple. Got it. Some debris in the water. Let that sail up! Commander, leaving the helm! <laughs> Let's run together. They won't ask any questions.
I sometimes pinch myself to make sure that I'm awake and that all we went through truly happened. With your writings, it won't soon be forgotten either. The world will be better knowing. My mind is flooded with the memories of all we experienced. Do you have a favorite? How could I possibly decide? You opened my eyes to so much uncovered so many secrets and mysteries that will change the course of the world. Your spear, and all it suggests. Atlantis, the cult. None of those things are mine alone to take credit for. You were there through it all. How could I ignore what was so clearly in front of me? You couldn't, which is why you have as much of a claim to all we did. I wonder what the great Eagle Bearer will remember best from this journey. It's like you said. It's impossible to pick just one. It feels we met so long ago now, but we've also been through a lot in such a short time. I'm glad you visited the Pythia that day and saw Varnavas. I guess this is it. As much as I'll miss our conversations, this is where our paths diverge. Where is your path taking you now? To Thuri. What's waiting for you there? That's the exciting part. I have no idea. I'm not sure anyone loves the unknown as much as you. It only stays that way until someone cares enough to make it known. In Thuri, that someone will be me. Will I see you again? Our paths may cross once more. And I hope they do. If that comes to pass after all, it likely means something big is following, close behind. Then I hope our adventures are nowhere near complete. I've never been great at saying goodbye. To do so is to impart a sense of finality, and we have no way of knowing if this truly is goodbye. Good luck in your travels, Herodotus. I can't wait to hear what you get yourself into. I'll share my stories with you, so long as you bring some new ones of your own. <laughs> I can do that. There's much to do, and many unknowns on our horizon.
They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful.